Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to networking. And let me start with networking. So, a computer can be linked by network to share data and resources. So, what is the primary need of networking? So, the primary need is to share data and resources. A network can be as simple as two computers connected by a single cable or as complex as hundred of computer connected to device that control the flow of information. A network a simple connect two or more computer or a complex such as hundred of computers so which we can able to control the flow of information. A computer data network is a collection of hosts connected by networking devices such as computers, printers, scanners, smartphones, and files and printer servers. So where you can able to see an example for networking. So here we can able to see this a networking where various things where the devices or peripherals are connected to a centralized resource for information interchange or sharing. So how to link the network devices is the next problem. So the network device links together using a varieties of connections. For example, it may be a copper cabling. So this is a copper cabling and fiber optic cabling or wireless connection. Some benefits from networking includes so fewer peripheral needs because for establishing networking we require fewer peripheral devices, increase communication capabilities, award file duplication and corruption low cost licensing and centralized administration and conserve resources. So those are the key benefits. And next we are going to see types of networks. A computer network can be identified. How we are going to identify the type of network, the type of media used to connect the device, the type of networking device used, how the resource are managed, how the network is organized, how the data is stored the area itself. So based on these parameters you can able to classify the types of networks. First comes peer-to-peer -peer network. The device which are connected directly to each other without any additional networking devices between them. Each device has a equal capabilities and responsibilities. In simple peer-to-peer -peer, there won't be any centralized resource called a server. All the systems are peer-to-peer. -peer. All the systems are interconnected for information interchange. Next comes your client server. In a client server model, the client requests the information or service from the server. The server provides the request information or service to the client. In case of client server technology, we will be having a centralized resource called a server, which controls the entire transaction between the client and server where the server is responsible for all the communication as a centralized resource and centralized control and bandwidth and latency so what is a bandwidth bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transmitted within a fixed time period once again i repeat bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transmitted within a fixed time period so for a fixed time period how much data you can transmit is nothing but the bandwidth so bandwidth is measured in bits per second and is usually denoted by the followings. How to measure? So BPS called as bits per second, KBBS is nothing but kilobits per second, and MBBS is nothing but megabits per second. What is latency? Is the amount of time it takes the data to travel from source to destination. Latency is nothing but the time taken by a data to uh, from source to destination is nothing but latency. Data is transmitted in one of the three modes. Simplex, that is a unidirectional transmission in a single way. It's a one-way communication. Half duplex, allow data to flow in one direction at a time. It means that at one time, the flow will be at one direction. Full duplex, allow data to flow in both directions at the same time. Same time, you can able to transfer and receive the data. Next comes your IP address. An IP address is a unique number that is used to identify a network device 
and is responsible as 32 bit binary numbers. So, IP address each peripheral network can be identified with the help of IP devices, as an example for IP devices. An IP address is also represented as a dotted decimal format, for example, 10.153.136.220. IP classes, there are different types of IP classes, for example, class A, class B, class C, class D and E, see. In case of class A, large networks implemented by uh, large companies and some countries. Class B, it's a medium-sized network implemented by universities. Class C, small networks implemented by ISP, Internet Service Providers for customer subscriptions. Class D, Special use for multi class multi casting class E used for experimental testing. So two types of LAN topologies are there. One is a physical topology, the physical layout of the component of the network, how the physical layout will be. And next comes your logical to -top topology, determines how the host access medium to communicate across the network. So LAN physical topologies. A physical topology defines the way in which computers and other printers or other devices are connected to a network. First comes your bus topology. Each computer connect to a common cable that ends the cable have a terminal installed to prevent signal reflection network error. So only one computer can transmit the data at a time or frames will be collide and be destroyed. In case of ring topology, host or connected in a physical ring or a circle. It's a special frame, the token travels around the ring, stopping each host to allow the data transmission. And next comes your star topology. So there are two types of ring topology, single ring and double ring. And next comes your star topology. As a centralized connection point, a hub, a switch or a router, easy to troubleshoot since each host is connected to central devices with its own wire. Next comes hierarchical or extended star topology. A star network with an additional networking devices connected to a main networking device to increase the size of the network. So it is used for large networks. And mesh topology connects all devices to each other used in WANs that interconnect LANs. The internet an example for mesh topology. Logical topologies the two most common type of logical topology are broadcast and token passing. In broadcast topology, there is no order that host must follow to use the network. It is first come, first served, or transmission data on the network. Token passing controls network access by passing an electronic token sequentially to each host, where host receives the token. It can send data on the network. If the host has no data to send, it passes the token to next host and process repeat itself. So LAN architect, it is a overall structure of a computer or communication systems and determine the capabilities and limitation of the systems. There are three most common LAN architect. Ethernet, based on IEEE 802.3 standard, which specifies that a network uses carrier sense multiple axes with a collision direction CSMA by CD so carrier sense multiple axes by collision direction axis control method and token ring based on token passing axis control method the token ring topology is referred to as star wire ring because the outer appearance of the network design is a star I think uh, the more things I can give in the next presentation so keep on watching my video and if you want can contact me using my mail id karthik.me.bl or gmail.com and for further notes you can log on my blog kr karthik www.kr3ik.blogspot.ac.in blogspot.in so i think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you